already told him that the world it doesn't get any more tension packed than this the 2022 fifa world cup final who is going to come out on top don't go anywhere we'll have all the action for you live next Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil against England. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the striker is Richarlison. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Harry Maguire plays alongside John Stones in central defence. Bukayo Saka plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. And they kick off here. Henderson. Bukayo Saka. Harry Kane. And the possibilities inside the box. Well, given the form he's been in, Stuart, you would expect quite a lot of the attacking to go through Neymar. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal. Oh, look score. at this, Stuart, an opportunity. Oh, yes! First to score in this final. And it could be highly significant. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. 1-0, then. Saka. Walker now. Bukayo Saka. We're racing away here. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Excellent ball over the top. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Richarlison. Henderson. High quality defending.
Foden. Kane! Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And then it's a top-class strike from Kane. His technique is absolutely spot on. Just look at the power he generates here. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Number nine, Harry Kane. Richarlison. And Neymar. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Foden. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. And clears his lines. Paqueta. Very quick thinking there. Shaw. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Foden. Now with Bellingham. Chance to do damage. Throw in here for England. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. Richarlison. Now with Bellingham. Shaw. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Getting in there to take it away. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. And a chance to restore their advantage. And a timely penalty save. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Oh, it's in! They take the lead here. And just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. Saka. Well, England have controlled possession, as you can see, but without really creating enough chance. Well, they might score here, Stuart. Oh, he saved it well. Now the electronic board showing one additional minute. Rafinha. Promising sequence. Neymar.
that is that for the first half here So back underway into the second half. Brazil with the advantage, but no room for complacency. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And foul it is then. Foden and back to Bellingham Harry Kane well it's ended up being quite frankly easy for the keeper well he should be hitting the back of the net that's a poor effort Danilo and Neymar really good block so a corner kick it'll be following the deflection Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, still an issue here. And I think the threat has been averted. And a good-looking ball. Well, really making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. And a significant block following that cross. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. And delivered by Neymar here. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. Walker. Sterling now Harry Kane and well, he stopped them in their tracks this might be ideal for the counter still a chance oh a clinical counter attack and so close to a goal well that's exactly what they're looking to do Force the turnover and then break at pace. So close to a very good goal. Walker not given a moment to think about it. Sterling. 20 minutes remaining. Walker Declan Rice Kane Big chance to get them on terms And off the bar that time Well, Brazil haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Henderson. Now with Alexander-Arnold. 
Phil Foden. I don't see an attacking position. It's not too late for them. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Here it is now, a substitution. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, no problems defensively. Vinicius Jr. Can he finish them off? In it goes! And surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us away from here. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Five minutes to go. Richarlison. Well, a textbook interception. Foden. Here's Mount. Sterling. And Kane saw his pass intercepted. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. And he's through here. And there it is! That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then it's a wonderful strike from Neymar. He hits it with power, he hits it with pace, and he hits it with accuracy. What a goal that is. So they restart the game, and only one team in it. And the referee brings this final to an end for the first time in 20 years. Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant, and they fully deserve this trophy. Brazil, the world champions. And this triumph, you just feel, Stuart, is going to be fondly remembered by all Brazilians. You're absolutely right. They've played some great football. They've been inspiring. There's been some great individual performances. It's been outstanding from them.